what is a disability. It is defined as anything that disables or puts one at a disadvantage. So we all have them. We are all different in some way. Does it mock us as weak? Does it give us an excuse to quit? Or do we use it as inspiration to get back up again every time we fall down? A disability does not define us, no matter how small or how big it is. We define what kind of person we want to be by how hard we work to overcome it. No one said it would be easy. No one said we could achieve our goals by just breathing. We must struggle each and every day for success. But that makes us work that much harder. So in the end, it begs the question, do we have a disability? Or an ability to never give up? There are many different reasons why premature labor can occur. The result of cerebral palsy, a debilitating brain disorder with no Speak to us on spasticity management. It's important for early intervention to correct or repair any and orthopedic... they confirmed that we had a, a baby with spina bifida. And of course our lives were turned upside down. Don't give up. It's just the weight of the world. Labeled as disabled. I mean, it isn't really a pleasant thing for anybody to hear, whether it's physical or not. Because you want to be heard. If silence keeps you, I, I will break it for you. In the context of families getting a new diagnosis, they may or may not know much about it. It must not only be quite a shock, but because they may not understand what that means, it's probably pretty terrifying. When we start talking about paralysis and catheters and shunts and wheelchairs, and they start to cry because this is not what they imagined. All of their hopes and dreams for that child are readjusted, are reorganized. To educate them advise them to help them so that whatever choice the mother and the family makes is the right one. It's always a very uplifting moment when the child is able to do something that we was working on together so hard. Every single moment, every little independence can make a huge difference in the family and the kids' life. and these kids are not going to be a drain on society at all. They're going to go out and be productive members of society and they're going to wind up being giving back. I couldn't believe these legs! They were beautiful how you could step down all by yourself. Can you do it again on Monday? Yes, I can. Excellent! I'm so happy with so your work. My goals for the future would probably be to become a teacher or personal trainer because you in my classroom and he had never stood up by himself and it was the first time that he had ever stood up just with his canes all by himself. Don't give up. I'm okay to get to your night. A little bit tired but that works. It's time for me to go by.
If I was to be able to pursue any of my goals, like walking independently, I think it would be impossible with it, without the Connected Learning Center.